All right, welcome back to my channel. I'm John Van Husty. And on this channel, we like to uh, do some do-it-yourself um, battery, 18650 battery harvesting. And um, we're lucky today, we actually just received the box in from FedEx. This is gonna be an unboxing of uh, one of my shipments from Battery Hookup. Uh, they're out of Pennsylvania. Uh, they got some great deals on modems and they use bat laptop batteries and such. So let's go ahead and uh, start with this. I'm gonna open up and see what we have and we'll go from there. This arrives today, got a nice compact box here. All right, a little popcorn for entertainment. It's over here. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. All right, these are the three cell modem packs. These are a model BA2200. Make sure you see that. Okay, I saw these. I believe they're out of stock on these now, but it was a great deal on them. So uh, we picked up some of that. We get some of this popcorn out of here. Beautiful. So we got a lot of these cells to harvest some 18650s from. These are the, the great source for some 18650s. Picked up a bunch of these. Uh, the reviews on them from the website saying that the that cells are in great shape, 85 to 90 percent of capacity. I'm just doing this video here for uh, unboxing, just to show you what we get inside the uh, boxes from Battery Hookup. All right, lots of these. I'll keep me busy for a little while. I was running out of packs to open up. Back there. Alrighty. There we go. So what do we have here? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 pieces. Uh, three cells in each, it gives you about 120 cells out of these uh, modem packs. Uh, we also picked up uh, one of their little heat guns. Great deal on this thing, it was only $8.99. It's going to be great for doing the shrink wraps on the cells when we have to replace the shrink wraps. And what else we got here? That's it in that box there. Kind of forgot what I ordered here. Let's find out what we got. Oh, a pair of their uh, flush cut pliers, batteries hookup right there. That's right there on their label. Nice, clean, flush cut. Be great for peeling off the nickel on them, on the cells. All right, right there. Fantastic, lots of cells. We don't want to make this too long a video. Maybe we'll just open up uh, one or two of these uh, packs just to show you the process on them. Move these down the road here. Now on these packs, I've seen a couple YouTube videos um, showing the technique. And I believe it is a simple. Of course, we're in our safety protection. I have my glasses on already. And we'll get some gloves on. Always trying to take that extra effort to make sure we don't get cut up. All right. So I believe here uh, I was watching it on the uh, YouTube videos, a couple other YouTubers, and they just take the diagonal pliers or diagonal cutters, and they hit them right in the corner. Kind of about right in this corner. You can see that seam where that battery is right there where the two pieces come together. I believe it's just going to be a process of taking the diagonals right onto that seam. Oh yeah, pops right open on this one here. I'll 
pick this other seam right here. There we go. And then the last one's going to be right where the hookup is. Oh, yeah. I'm going to grab my little handy dandy. Um, it's a plastic pry bar. You can pick these things up at the. I think I picked these up at Harbor Freight and it was a pack of four or five of them. And they're non metallic and they're very, very strong. And with these, I'm just going to slide in between those seams that we've already split open, making sure not to hit any of the parts of the batteries. And that pops right open. Very nice. Uh, once again, with the tool, we're just going to go right inside the cells. And I read on the description for battery hookup, they said these are great cells to take out of these modems because there's no glue. So no glue there. I'm gonna take our new flush cut pliers. We're gonna go ahead and cut all the leads off of the BMS. One at a time. The BMS pulls right out. Cut the rest of those leads off. And we are just left with the three cells. That's good. All those little extra wires off. And then with this one, we are just going to grab our nickel stuff right there and just kind of pry it back. Come off real easy. It just pop right off. Nice. With one set of leads off, you can just kind of Pull the two little shims out and grab these cells and just, they just pop right off. Very nice. Very nice. These are going to be an easy harvest on these cells. I believe I have another pile of those coming, another bunch of the uh, modem cells. I also picked up another set, and I believe they have four of the cells in there. Uh, these are the Sony's and uh, these are the um, US 18650 GR's. I believe these are coming in at 2200 milliamps. So it's a nice clean cell after you're done pulling them out of the modem. There's a couple of little dots front and back there, but very clean cells. There's a couple little nips at the uh, factory. I have the little factory uh, spot welding. Those come off real easy. These nice flush pliers. Working great. And our other one here, we still have a little piece of nickel on that one. Just pull that right off. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. Well, that was semi-painless. We have three harvested Sony 2200 mil amps. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw this, get our tools organized real quick. Uh, come on down here a little bit. We're gonna grab all of our debris. We're gonna throw it in our recycle. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab our voltmeter here. Are you going to be able to see this or not? I want to do just a quick voltage test on them, see how they came in. Ah, 360, 364, 360, or 358. Uh, fantastic. All over three excellent cells to just put right onto the charger. And uh, like I said, I uh, run them through our charging stations first down below. I have about a capacity of 24 cells to charge them up. And then I throw them up on top. And I have a, a variety of the, uh, the Nido Kala. I also have, uh, what was this one here? The Zan Flare. Uh, and then I have four of the PS Power, the DC 5000s uh, test chargers. Really like these guys. They work very well. They do a full capacity test. They actually even charge up to 2,000 milliamps on the um, PS Powers. 
Um, so I will be putting those 24 cells after I harvest them. I'll also just go ahead and peek them off, get them nice and uh, up there at 4.20. And then I will put them onto the testers and bring that uh, voltage back down. And then they'll bring it back up and they'll give us our capacities for the cells. And then I'll just ride on them and um, put them in our groups like we've been doing for a couple months here and start collecting. So if you like the video, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and share it. I appreciate it. And then uh, you can ring the little bell. Uh, um, I believe it's over down the yonder. And then that will give you notification every time a new video comes out. All right. Well, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.